Oh yeah, I love springtime. And spring means chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kind of. But more like spring means our annual egg hunt. And party. And my traditional nap. We need some more green eggs. Uh, you mean more blue eggs. <laughs> I like lavender and yellow eggs. Multicolored jelly beans. Ooh, yummy. I love springtime. Voila. My chocolate bunny is finished. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that is one highly imaginative take on a cottontail rabbit. Yeah, really. Uh, no, actually, I was going for more of a jackrabbit. Uh, looks like a snowshoe hare. Uh, no, my chocolate bunny is actually a jackrabbit. How come every spring we do all this fun stuff with chocolate bunnies and colored eggs anyway? It's an old tradition that some say began in Germany as a celebration of springtime. It started with the story of a bunny rabbit who left colored eggs in birds' nests. And that story grew into the Easter Bunny and spread around the world. Hmm, how many kinds of bunnies are there in the world anyway? Let's find out. Wow, there are so many on every continent. Except Antarctica. So, by my calculations, there are 67 species of rabbits and hares in the world. And 22, 23, 24, 25 species are in North America which makes it the continent with the most species. And since we're here in North America, let's take a closer look. Right here in the West. Home of the pygmy rabbit, the smallest bunny in the world. Oh, cute! And the antelope jackrabbit. It's a hare and one of the largest bunnies in the world and the fastest. Awesome! And there are lots of bunnies in between. Like the snowshoe hare. Ah, uh, remember our adventure with that speedy bunny? Oh yeah, fun. Nothing like miniaturizing and riding a snowshoe hare. Better than a snowmobile. And then there's the ones we haven't met yet, like the black-tailed jackrabbit, Appalachian cottontail, desert cottontail, mountain cottontail, eastern cottontail. Whoa, that's a lot of cottontails.